Hello everybody, welcome back to Binary Court. I'm Dadge and we have Blaze for week five of the NFL Prediction League. And um, things are shaping up rather nicely in terms of scores, are they not, Mr. Blaze? Yeah, um, who'd have thunk it? Uh, after you finally took a two-point lead last week and after my initial two-point lead, we're now drawing. Yeah. 26 each. Yeah, indeed. So I scored five points last week, an abysmal week. Yeah. Um, you didn't do much better, did you? I think I scored seven points in my first seven games. No. No, I scored six points in my first six games, and then after that it wasn't until the Monday night game that... No, the late Sunday game that I got my final point. Ah, uh, lucky for you. So, I started well, finished poorly. I was poor across the board. <laughs> yeah. So, shall we talk about the big moment that we're thinking about at the moment? Yeah, it's a rather sour point. Yeah, um, so the Patriots got completely routed last week. Mm. Um, it wasn't pretty. It was kind of depressing. Uh, the Chiefs pretty much stormed over the Patriots. Um, and we scored a total of one touchdown up until the fourth quarter when Belichick decided to spare Brady any more humiliation and put in the second round pick, Garoppolo. It was his first game, I think it was his first drive in the NFL, and he led the Patriots to a touchdown, which is kind of salt in the wounds of Brady, who's had a really bad season. Yeah, he really like, has. I don't, I, I, I don't really want to even bring up his stats, because he's just, he's not performing to his, he, he's performing below his worst at the moment. Yeah, he is. And the problem is, he said that when he sucks, he'll quit. Like, he'll, he'll know when to quit, it's because he, when he sucks. So, you yeah. know, Brady's gone. He's, yeah, he's not going to quit mid-season. I don't no, no, think. no, but he, uh, uh, if he doesn't improve, and we don't, if we, definitely if we don't make the playoffs, he's gone. Yeah, he's, Being, he like, won't be staying around. 104 years old or whatever he is now. But the interesting point is, I mean, from a team money standpoint of view, yeah, He's really, really cheap. So, if he doesn't retire and we still have a bad season, will the Patriots keep him? I mean, he's been loyal, but other teams, that they could trade Brady out pretty quickly. And they could get something good for Brady. Because, yeah, he, he may decline this season, but a new system, a new setup, another team might take the risk. No, he's said regularly that he he will only play for Bilicek. He's a he's a mm. Bilicek guy. So uh, yeah, he, he, if he sucks, he sucks. He's thirty eight or what is he like thirty six, thirty eight, thirty seven, thirty seven, right in the middle. Um, yeah, so yeah. I think no, he I think that's the end of it. If yeah, he, yeah. if he, if it sucks this season. Yeah, well that remains to be seen, and I mean we don't know uh, if he's going to play the entirety of the rest of the season even, because as you pointed out before. We're in a similar situation yeah. to one a while ago, where it was Brady and Bledsoe. Yeah, Bledsoe. Well, uh, Bledsoe is a little bit different because he got injured, but Brady came in and performed well, like Grupo, uh, what's his name, Grupolo, Grupolo, <laughs> did um, on Sunday night. Uh, and Belichick goes on performance alone. He doesn't. He doesn't care about names and status. He just goes on performance, and that's how Brady got in the team in the first place and kept his place because he performed. So Grupolo coming in and doing so well, perhaps gives him a, a, a shout to um, definitely start, well, not start more, but maybe um, um, be involved more. more. Yeah, he'll definitely get more time um, under centre. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo. Yeah, I was just saying Garoppolo because it's, I haven't heard it. It's so weird for, as a Patriots fan to, like, keeping up with the backup quarterbacks because we had Hoyer and then we had, like, Castle and and they've kind of just, yeah. they kind of just, like, go elsewhere and stagnate. <laughs> really don't because... Because they're they're constantly living in Brady's shadow. Um, yeah, but they, they but all when Brady a has a game like that, yeah. Oh yeah, they all learn no, a lot I mean, under Brady. Know. Like Castle said, he he values his time at um, yeah. Patriots because of spending time under Belichick and Brady. But it's I, I started as a Patriots fan right at that season where Brady um, took over from Bledsoe in like 2000 or something. So it's weird for somebody like a fan like me or even like you, and he joined a few years later, but that we've only known Brady as quarterback, so it'll be weird next year if, if it changes. Yeah. 14 it's years. To get used to. Yeah. <laughs> That's nuts. It's insane. Uh. But it's a good stint. Anyway, okay, so that's um, that was last week. Yeah. Shall we do a quick rundown of the rules? 
Um, just to remind everyone before we get into the games and the picks. Yeah, I suppose. We'll, we'll skip over my bit, but all right. <laughs> what was your bit? Well, I was just going to point out that the league seems to be a bit... Oh. Um, if you look down the, the standings, there's lots of two and two teams, or worse. That's kind of the pattern this, this year, is either you're stag- sort of your average 2-2 two, two, for games so far. or 2-2s, two, bro. Um, a few teams are on like 3-1, or there's a couple of teams on 3-0, 3-0 but mostly it's 2-2 two, two and worse. It just feels like it, yeah. it's interesting, but it's also a little bit like it's kind of a measure of which team is performing the, wor- the, the, the least worst rather than which teams are performing the best at the moment. Yeah. It's weird. I think we've only got one team at the moment that hasn't won a game, haven't we? If I'm correct. And that is the Jaguars. Yeah. 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 They are unwinning. They are unwinning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's... But yeah, everyone's bad, but it's not horrendous for everyone. It's like everyone's sort of meh at best, except for a few teams. Yes, I used meh. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. I wonder how many times there's been a start like this. It's weird. You normally get runaways and um, runaway teams by now, but there doesn't, there hasn't been. Especially as the runaway, t- the, the the teams with three and zero Bengals and. Um, Cardinals, who are not the best teams in those divisions on paper by a long way. So, but they are performing they're well. They're performing extremely well, and they deserve the position. Yep. Okay. So now that we've like come back to the bit that I tried to skip over accidentally. <laughs> That's okay. I forgive. So, okay. Run down another rule. So basically, each week we're going to pick um, a winner from each game. Me and Adam, you're welcome to join in. Just follow the format you see at the end of the video when we uh, list our um, list our um, our picks so we pick um, a winner from every game and specifically you choose a gem game and a bust game first your gem game is that you pick your team that you think is going to absolutely run away with it Um, the reason you do that is because your gem team needs to win by six points or more or is it more than six it's six points or more inclusive six points or more and then you get three points Um, if your if your team wins still wins but under six points you still get your point for the win um, obviously if your team loses your team loses and you pick the wrong team so you don't get a point dum dum um, <laughs> bust game is um, it's kind of the reverse of that so you pick, pick your team who um, in a close game you might feel like they've you know it'll be a close game or whatever um, and you um, say that <laughs> sorry I lost my train of thought um, so yeah your bust game um, you pick a team that you think is within a close game, and if your team loses by four points or less, you get you still get your point for the win. Um, yep. Obviously, if your team you pick wins, you still get your point. But if your team loses by five points or more, you don't get any points. You get nothing. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it just gives you that buffer. Just gives you so. yeah. It just gives you the buffer. It's like a point spread. Yep. Okay then. So that's the rules. Um, everyone should join in. Everyone join in, like, be making your picks now and then look at the format at the end and write them down. But in the meantime, we're going to go through now three games that we picked, that we're highlighting for this week, and then we're going to tell you our Gemini bus. Yeah, we are. So, game one for this week, we're going with the Cardinals versus the Broncos. Indeed we are. The Cardinals, 3-0, and o, um, versus the Broncos, who are a good team, led by um, a yep. good quarterback, 2-1. Um, I just feel like that's, that's going to be a great game. Yeah, um, you've got the Broncos and the Cardinals both coming back off a of bye week. Yeah, fresh. Well, um, so they're going to be fresh. Yeah, they, they, I think they're going to be fresher than most. Yeah. Um, and you've got, like you said, the three and Cardinals and the really good Broncos team. And I know you think he's very overrated, but he's still a player that's a crucial part of their team. Wes Walker, I think, is back this week. <laughs> Yeah. So that's going to be a boost for the Broncos. It will be. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think it's going to be a good game and it's going to be very, very interesting. I, I agree. So, yeah. So who have you gone with in that game? I've gone with the Cardinals. Ah. That's a good start for us because I've gone with the Broncos. Ah. See, I. I uh, they're they're going to edge it. I don't think I could pick a Peyton Manning team to win. It's not in me to do that. <laughs> 
I, I feel like this is where I should have a list of every game you've picked, so I can be like, well, yeah, pick some this time. <laughs> well, in the obvious ones, as well, but uh, Cardinals, you know, they've done well. I think they can. They yeah. shot some good teams as well. Fair enough. Yeah, no, that is a fair assumption. It is. Okay, then. So, then we've got the uh, game two. Do you want to lead on game two? Uh, so, game two is the Vikings versus the Packers. It's a divisional game. Um and it's another one of so so many games of two two teams uh, yeah. this particular week, uh, and both of those teams are coming off of a one week streak, one win week streak. Wait wait wait, one one week win streak. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so I think that'll be a, again it'll be a tight game, but I have obviously picked Packers because Rogers, you know. Yeah, always keep the faith in Rogers. Yeah, exactly. Um, I've gone with the Vikings. Oh, interesting. Why? I just, I feel like I'm losing a bit of faith, and I think it was a really close one for me. Uh huh. Um, like, the only time the Vikings have lost, they've lost to relatively good teams, except for Week 2 when yeah. they lost to the Patriots. But the Patriots, that was one of the few games where the Patriots actually played quite well. Um, I think, yeah. If I remember correctly, the Patriots played quite well. Yeah. But Green Bay, um, they haven't really performed as well as I'd expect them to. I mean, yeah, the Lions have looked good this season, but I still think the Green Bay, the Green Bay should have beaten them, and I think the Vikings are a team that at the moment are just a little bit better than the Packers. Interesting. <laughs> so, for that reason, I've gone with the Vikings. Okay, cool. It was a tough choice, but yeah, I, I kind of had to go with it. Yeah, it's weird because the Packers, just... the Packers were the runaway paper on paper favourites, like yeah, given given the division title now kind of team, and it's a really tight. But it hasn't worked yeah, out that really well. Tight league, really tight uh, division. It's really good. I like. It. But it's interesting that they're the runaway team and that the team you expect to be runaway, and they're not, and the teams that you wouldn't expect to be runaway. Exactly. Now the teams that kind of are at the moment. Speaking of surprising teams, uh, game three, we've gone with the Bills versus the Lions. Yeah, exactly. And the reason we pick Bills versus Lions is because it's not a team, um, it's not a game of two teams who are going to be close because they're both awful. When on paper that should be what, what's happening there. No offense, Bills and fans. That's what you'd Lions fans. Yeah, that's exactly what you'd expect. But in fact, the Bills are two and two, top of the division. AFC East and the um, Vikings, uh, sorry, the, the Lions are three and one, top of the division. And yeah. I wouldn't have put money on the, either the Bills or the Lions winning more than sort of two or three games for the entire season. So and that looks like they're on. on course to do just that. Yeah. So it's, I think this is a close game again. Um, yeah. I really do think. I don't think either team is as good as they've been. I feel like they're gonna. Full short. Oh. I think second half of the season is going to be bad for them, and they're going to be the same old Bills and the same old Lions. But yeah, they're both in form at the moment. Mm. Capitalising on the poor, but, yeah. poor performances of the uh, of the other teams. Other but teams. That's yeah. how you win. That's how you win games. Capitalise yes. when other teams are down. I think the schedule is going to catch up with them, and they're going to slip. Yeah. Both teams, not either one of those teams, both teams. Well, I don't know, Stafford, I don't... Stafford's been doing really well. I think he could lead the line really well for the Lions. I don't see either of these teams finishing top of their division. Maybe not top, yeah. but the Lions certainly have got a chance of um, of, of taking the play, um, a um, wildcard berth in the um, yeah, NFC. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, NFC. I wouldn't say so. I, I think differently, but... As the season goes on, I may be proven wrong. Well, we'll see. Yes, we shall. So, who have you picked? I picked the Lions. Interesting, so have I. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, the, both teams are doing well at the moment, but it's later on in the season, I think they're going to fail. Um, and for now, I think the Lions are just a little bit better than the Bills. Yeah, good on them. I think it's, if the Lions win and go 4-1, and one, it'll be four more games than the Lions fans are expecting to win this season. <laughs> Yeah, four games for a lot of the fans to cheer about, which is a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's no fun living in Detroit. Oh, wow. 
Um, but your NFL team, that's all. Okay. I put. I want to put my hands up for Detroit. So I'm going to. Um, <laughs> so there is someone that loves that city. Gems. Gems. Um, I think this is about to get very, very interesting. Uh, hmm. I'm going to let you tell me your gem first. Okay. My gem game. Is the Steelers versus the Jaguars? Right. Steelers are an established team, like established every year um, playoff team. Two and two. Ben Roethlisberger yep. leading the line. Um, Palomalu, or the you know all the rest of the bad boys up in up in Pittsburgh uh, against the 0 and 4 Jaguars, the only team in the league that haven't won a game yet. So I think the, the, I think my my three points are fairly secure there, and that's a good bet. Yeah. That's what I thought last week when um, the Steelers went up against one of the only teams that hadn't won a game in the league yet. Yeah. And lost in the dying seconds. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But they won't make that mistake again. You hope. Well, yeah, we've used that. And pray. We've used that before <laughs> in previous weeks. They won't make that mistake again, and then they did <laughs> with other teams and other games. But you know. Um, my gem is the Bengals versus the Patriots. Oh, no, because there's only one team you can pick to win that. You're an... I know, this is controversial, and I know, I kind of, I I, uh, I, I almost hate myself for doing it. But I feel like I have to. I feel like the Bengals just look, the first three weeks the Bengals look so good. And they are coming off a bye week. Yeah, they're rested. The Patriots are coming off feeling really disappointed. Um... And it's either going to be the Patriots who's going to suddenly rally together and pull out the game of their lives, or they're going to be crushed. Yeah. I think it's the latter. Oh no! So yeah, my my gem for this week, and I've I've never put my maximum points on a game and hoped I was wrong before, but this is I'm so hoping that I don't get my three points this week. No. But I, I, yeah, it's such a. But I'm going with the Bengals. I can understand why. And following like the the press leading up into the NFL, start of the NFL during the summer, it was all just, um, you know, the the questions about Brady and the offense and the defense. And the last line of every single report was, it's okay because Gronk's back, and it's just not the right attitude. And I think the Patriots have fallen into that. Yeah, I think the other thing is. Um... Gronk Again. isn't playing that much, so he's no, not he he's not yeah. fully in yet. Yeah. So I don't think you can put any you can't put any real. Yeah, I think yeah the the focus of the offense was definitely Gronk, and the focus of the defense was getting Revis. Yes, and I can't rely on two players. The other thing is um, the other reason for this is the Patriots faced the Bengals last season, and I remember it fondly. Um, because we went in all confident because yeah. it's the Bengals. I mean, what are they going to do? It's the Bengals. Uh, and we've never <laughs> lost to the Bengals before then. 4 0 against the Bengals. And we didn't even get a touchdown. Yeah. Lost 13 6. I remember that game. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, I feel like, yeah, the Bengals playing as well as they are against the Patriots playing as bad as they are at the moment. Yeah. Well, Bengals, I gem. I feel like we spent a lot of time on that game, so I'll just announce now that my bust is the Patriots versus the Bengals. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Um, um, and I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be at least closer than last week, and I hope that we can take it. Um, so I've, I've gone for the Patriots. I've gone against the one of only two teams that are three and zero in the league for a yeah. two and two team. But hopefully, the uh, so in yeah. the past Brady has sort of been questioned, and then the next game it's all forgotten because he's. You know, thrown for four touchdowns, we win 97 nil. So, hopefully, <laughs> similar yeah. situation. So, more faith than I. That's good. <laughs> um, my bust then is the Ravens versus the Colts. Um, mostly because I couldn't pick a team. I, I sat here and I was like, uh, which one? And um, so I'm going to go with the Ravens. It's really close. That's I like that game. I was going to have it as one of the three we talk about, but you picked it as a bust. Yeah, so we can. Sorry. <laughs> we can still talk. We can still about talk about it, it now. Yeah, but just because it's a really interesting game. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Ravens are my pick in the bust. Andrew Luck needs to step his step his game up though. Two and two. He does. 
after yeah. after I backed him, better quarterback than that. I backed him at the start of the season as well. I was like, he won't lose two in a row. He's never done it before, so he needs to step up. <laughs> Having said that, but that's the only two they've lost is those two in a row. That's true. <laughs> they are on all two. Yeah, okay, that's two game winning streak, isn't it? Then yeah. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> but I'm still sticking with the Ravens. Yeah, not that we normally right. do this, but I have also picked the Ravens. You'll see when it comes up at the end of the video, which is now. Do the outro. <laughs> do the outro. Outro. Okay. Right. So, yes. Stuff. Um, thanks for watching. Um, obviously, we want as many people to join in as possible because it'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, don't be put off by the fact that like I'm on 26 points and Dave's on 26 points and you're starting a week late. Because at the end of the season, we're going to average out the scores. So, me and David, as it stands, if we finish the season now... We'd, on, we'd be on 8.6. Um, yeah. So it's going to be an averaged out score, and then we'll go into the playoffs starting with that score, that averaged out score, and then you'll score points for the playoffs. So as long as you join before the playoffs, you can get a good averaged out score. If you join on the last so, week of the season, you could start on an average score We're doing two like weeks 14. minimum. Yeah, yeah. We're doing two weeks minimum. So like you'd have to join by the 15th week, or the week before the final week, which would be... The 15th week? Do this 16 weeks? No, it's only 13 weeks. What am I learning about? <laughs> no. I Basically, the week before the last week is when you need to join. Yeah. Um, That's the deadline. And, yeah, everyone's in with a chance of winning the league. Um, So, yeah, that's that. Um, The format will be appearing on the screen at the moment. We'll be seeing our picks um, in the format that we want, that, want them. Just copy the format, put your picks in, comment on the YouTube video or comment on the binary recorder or website and you'll be automatically entered just get your um, picks in before the Thursday night game or if you don't want to pick the Thursday night game just get in before the Sunday night first Sunday night game awesome so yeah thank you everyone for watching thanks very much like subscribe visit binary recorder or yay etc etc say goodbye Dutch. bye Dutch. <laughs>